in this video we're going to look at the arc length of an ellipse. So suppose you've been given an ellipse. Uh, the arc length will be the distance around here. So, so to obtain the arc length of an ellipse, we would, uh, we would start out with a strange looking path. We would start out with a strange looking path. And uh, we, we would start by saying the, um, the speed along the actual path is, uh, is approximately the, uh, the speed in the, in the x direction squared plus the speed in the y direction squared. So we would start out by, by saying the actual, the, the actual speed along the actual path is approximately this squared plus this squared. But then as you take the, uh, as you take the limit as t tends to zero, you can actually say it, it equals to this thing here. So, uh, so we would start out by saying the, the, the actual speed along the actual path is approximately this squared and then this, uh, this squared. But then as you take the, uh, as you take the limit as t tends to zero, then you can say the actual speed equals to this thing here. So now from here, you would, uh, you would square root both sides. That would then give you this. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, and then times both sides by, by this thing here. So that would then, uh, that would then give you this. So, uh, so the, the, uh, so, so ds equals this thing here. So when, when you look at this, the way you, in, you should interpret this is, is like this. Hang on. So when, when you look at this here, the way you should interpret this is that for a small change in time, for a small, for, for a small element of time, uh, the actual distance, well, sorry, the way you should interpret this is, is that you should start out with a small change in time, then, then it would result in, in a small, a small ds, a small, a small distance traveled along the actual path. So, um, so you would start out with a small, ele a small element of time. And then when you combine it with this, then this whole thing here represents the, the actual distance traveled along the actual path. So this, this ds here is the, uh, is the actual distance traveled for a small given amount of time. Okay. So, um, so, so ds is given by this. So if you want to know the, the, um, the actual, so, so hang on, let's start again. For a small change of time, for a small change in time, would, when you combine it with this, it will result in a small, uh, a small ds. So this is your ds. So if, if you want to work out the arc length, the, the whole path here, what you do is you, you sum up all, all the ds. You should sum up all the ds here. You should sum up everything. Um, uh, hang on, you should sum up all the, all the ds. So it should be like this. Plus, uh, dy by dt squared, uh, along, uh, along this small change in time. So that's dt. But then, but then you could ask yourself, how long does it take to make one revolution? Well, one revolution would be 2 pi. So you're, you're, you're integrating, you're summing up all these small ds, uh, from 0 to 2 pi. So the, 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 uh, the arc length is actually given by, by this thing here. So the arc length is given by, by this. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then in our case, in our case, in our case of this ellipse here, in our case here, we would need to work out dx by dt for, so, so we, we would need to work out dx by dt because if you look at the formula, the arc length is given by this. So we need to work out dx by dt. We need to work out dy by dt. So going back to the original uh, parametric equations, we need to work, well, if you differentiate this, it will then give you dx by dt. Differentiate this, it will then give you dy by dt. So, so in effect, we, we've worked this out and this out. So that would then take us to this. Right? And then, and then tidy this up. That would then, uh, that would then give you this. So our, our arc length is actually given by this. But the thing is, this thing here is not an elementary integral. So you, no matter how you integrate this, you can't express the answer in terms of, in terms of, um, in terms of cos, uh, or, or in terms of sine, or in terms of tan, or, or in terms of e. It's not an elementary integral. So, so, as far as we're concerned at the moment, we do not have enough knowledge to integrate this. We can't integrate this by, um, it's, 
it's not an element you can't you can't integrate this uh, you can't integrate this at the moment maybe you can use uh, numerical methods to uh, to approximate this but at the moment we don't have enough knowledge to integrate this okay so you you just have to leave it as it is here because we don't have enough knowledge to uh, to integrate this okay